was not an easy deal because Atalanta are very tough negotiators, so it was not easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Breaking news tonight here with Fabrizio to keep you posted with all the latest on the transfer market. We discuss about the secrets of Rasmus Hoylund deal. It's a here we go for Manchester United, but it's not over. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me mention the big news of the day, the big here we go. Finally, it's done. After long negotiations, Rasmus Hoylund to Manchester United is here we go. The deal is in place. Everything has been agreed today between Atalanta and Manchester United. The fee, from what I'm told, just to clarify, I tweeted more than 70 million euros plus uh, add-ons. From what I'm told, the structure of the deal is... 70 million euros guaranteed fee, 5 million euros very easy add-ons, so 70 guaranteed, 5 very easy, so something uh, that they expect to trigger in a very easy way, so almost 75 guaranteed plus 10 million euros in add-ons. So the total package in case all the add-ons will be activated and those 10 million euros are not that easy. It depends on trophies, on how many goals uh, Rasmus Hoylund will score. So it depends, we will see. But 70 are guaranteed, five are very easy, almost guaranteed, 10 are difficult. So the potential total package is 80 5 million euros for Rasmus Hoylund. Imagine Atalanta paid 17 million euros for Hoylund one year ago from Sturgratz and now after 10 months they sell the player for potentially 85 million euros. That's the real fee of the deal. Rasmus Hoylund agreed almost 10 days ago a contract with Manchester United. You remember guys, it was an exclusive news. Uh, I told you a contract for the next five years, June 2028, with an option until 2029. So option for further season, exactly the same contract they did to Andre Onana. Was not an easy deal because Atalanta are very tough negotiators. So it was not easy for Manchester United to reach an agreement with Atalanta. Imagine that Atalanta started to ask uh, for more than 70 million euros. But when they were mentioning in these meetings more than 70 million euros is because they wanted to arrive around 85, 90 million euros guaranteed with the add-ons. So at the end, uh, Manchester United were able to close the deal for 70 plus five, very easy, plus 10 add-ons in add-ons. So, that's the agreement, the deal is done. I mentioned it was not easy also because PSG really tried to sign Hoylund. They had three meetings with the agents of the player, uh, three meetings where PSG really pushed it in terms of salary, and really pushed it in terms of making bids to Atalanta. They made a bid for 50 million euros, but that was obviously not enough to convince Atalanta. But PSG wanted the player, then they left the race because they understood one thing. Rasmus Hoylund only wanted to play for Manchester United. It's the biggest dream he had since he was a kid. May United obsession. So he was a big Man United fan uh, as a kid, and now uh, he will be a Manchester United player. The medical will take place in the next days. They are going to exchange documents, and then I think that it will be official next week, but everything is okay. So don't worry, it's a here we go. I mentioned PSG. I wanted to tell you guys uh, that it's also important uh, that they had a feeling, Manchester United, that another English club was calling the agents of Hoylund. So that's why they decided to accelerate this week and they got the deal done over the weekend because they didn't want to waste time uh, and give the chance to another English club and also PSG to try again. So Man United were very good in a strategy and they closed the deal, but they had a player on their side because Hoylund only wanted Man United. And imagine that uh, he appointed the agents of the SEG agency, who took care uh, of his uh, future, uh, on a three months kind of trial. It was like, bring me to Man United, otherwise I could have a different agent in the future. But SEG agency did a very good job on this one. And so now, obviously, they are the agents of Rasmus Hoylu and they gave him what he wanted so to become a Manchester United player but this is showing you how much he wanted to join United Rasmus Hoylu was really desperate in positive sense to be a Manchester United player and now the deal is done so Eric Ten Hag was also crucial uh, I can tell you and reveal to you that Eric Ten Hag had more than three direct calls with the player to explain his plans to explain what he wanted from him and so it's a done deal for uh, Rasmus Hoyland to Manchester United. But Man United are not done on the market. Because now, I always told you guys, 
In the Italian media, we heard official bid for Amrabat on Monday, on Tuesday. No, there was no official bid because May United wanted to focus on Rasmus Hoylund. I always told you, priority Hoylund, then the new midfielder. And the plan remains. Now Hoylund is done and May United will focus on Sofian Amrabat. They never made any official bid to Fiorentina two days ago, three days ago. Those were fake news. Now they will enter in conversations for a new midfielder. Sofian Amrabat is top of the list. They already had talks on the player side. I told you at the beginning of July they had conversations and Amrabat is super keen on a move to Manchester United. Now it's time for May United to agree with Fiorentina. So after this Hoylund deal done, next week May United hope to close the outgoings of Fred, that is Galatasaray pushing, Lazio rejected him, so Galatasaray is a possibility and also Saudi clubs, Donny van de Beek has Real Sociedad and not only, but Real Sociedad are the big favourites to sign him and Manchester United will open talks for Sofian Amrabat, so he could be the next one, negotiations will take place, let's see what's going to happen, but now the Amrabat deal will enter into important stages. Not before. There were no official bids. The priority was the striker. I always told you. Priority striker, Hoylund, then Amrabat. And now we enter into the Amrabat story. And for the centre-back, it depends on the outgoings. Let's see what happens with Maguire. Man United rejected £20 million for Harry Maguire uh, from West Ham. Let's see if West Ham will make another bid or any other club will put big money on the table. In case a centre-back leaves May United, we have to keep an eye on Axel Dizazi. He's in the list at May United and at Newcastle. He's a player appreciated by both clubs, but no one made official bids yet because it depends on the outgoings. So let's wait and see on Dizazi, but the priority will be new defensive midfielder, and then we will see what happens with the centre-back. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Rasmus Hoylund deal. How do you feel about that? Good signing, top signing. I want your opinion here in the comments. Like this video, turn on the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.